Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you a really cool trippy video effect you can use for your music videos or anything experimental. It sort of replicates a thermal video effect but it's a little bit different because it's a little bit more versatile and it has a lot of potential. You can really mess around and create something really cool. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and with that being said, let's get straight into it. So first things first, if you don't have Adobe Premiere Pro, Adobe is currently having a promotion where you can get over 60% off all Adobe applications if you're a student or a teacher. So make sure to check that out if you're eligible. Right here, I got a video of Drake. Uh, this is his last music video. I thought I'd just use it as reference. Uh, a majority of this video will be done within Lumichi Color. So the first thing you would want to do is go to Window and Lumichi Color. Um, and we're actually just going to be using Curves for the majority of this video. And the great thing about this tutorial is you don't actually have to know how to use Curves. Uh, because it's experimental and we're just gonna literally create random points so right here we're gonna use red green and blue we don't really need to use the white one and we're just gonna make random points and i mean random so like boom 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 just very random points so right here you can see how this looks like it already looks trippy just based off what i just did in like two seconds but you can adjust it to your liking so i think this looks really cool so you can see those uh, colors. It looks super trippy already. So right here, you can see really, really cool uh, effect right here. You may not want certain colors in your video. So you should uh, go back to the curves and just take them out. I don't like this red right here. So I'm just going to find what it is. Or I'm going to just make it look a little bit better. Like right here. Subtle difference, but um, it does look a little bit better in my opinion. Next, I'm going to drag on noise just to add a little bit of character. And lastly, I'm going to go to invert and it's just going to give me a little bit more options as to like color combinations. So you can drag on invert right here and you can see invert by itself already gives you like these cool colors. Uh, but what you could also do is you can select any of these options. There's a lot of them. I like these four right here. I'm going to use in phase for this one. Uh, but yeah, it gives you a really cool like stylistic inverted color scheme. I don't really know how to explain it. Like this frame looks really cool with the blue. This frame, not so much. I don't really like the orange, but we would switch them for individual clips. This one has this thermal look. Um, and yeah, you can just scroll through them. And once again, you can always adjust these colors if you don't like them. That's why at the beginning of this video, I said that this is very versatile is because there's like a billion of different combinations for this just one video. But uh, I would stick to the last like four right here just because they're a little bit more subtle. Um, and you can also blend this with the original video. But yeah, that's about it for this video. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and also check out the pinned comment below uh, for my Discord server. But yeah, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.